You know, I really don't care if what I'm about to have an opinion on fits with anybody or sits well with anybody. I don't really care. Um, well, I've lost, I've been losing subscribers. Don't know why. Maybe because I haven't posted up any videos or because maybe my opinions aren't very popular, like I said before. But you know what? Whatever. I'm not expecting to be monetized or become any kind of YouTube celebrity or anything. As we all know, being truthful and honest uh, isn't popular nowadays. So I'm just going to give you the breakdown. Look, I know that there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot at stake. In terms of all of this pandemic and the electoral fraud and the fear of uh, well, fear of a lot of things and I share those fears and I'm there with you I've been hearing a lot of people on Twitter about prophecies and to all of you who feel the same way this might come off as harsh or boorish or I don't know simpleton the only thing I have to say to all of you is fuck you fuck you for giving up fuck you for pretending to be something you're not fuck you for saying that you're a patriot fuck you for saying you have faith in God fuck you for wanting to fight a fraud but just decide to give up Strike team awaiting orders. the reason I say that is because I've like I said been seeing a lot of people on Twitter talking about prophecies and the majority of the people that say these things they're all right-wingers they're all evangelicals they're all devout Christians they're all Trump supporters they're all patriots these are all the people that keep spouting this bullshit you know to anybody who's not really well educated prophecy is not to be taken literally prophecy is not created so that you see it all the way through and not do anything in order to stop it prophecy is created as a warning and that warning should not be taken lightly. And what do I mean by that? I mean that when you hear someone prophesize over something, that's your opportunity to do things differently. To stop it from happening. To avoid it from taking full flight. We were given free will for a reason. Prophecy takes that free will away. Religion takes that free will away. And to all of these fanatics, you are the embodiment of hypocrisy. You don't love God. You don't love Christ. You know who you love? You love your prophets. That's what you love. Know. You love your profits. And I mean your profits, like you own a business and you're making a profit out of what you're selling. No, I mean your profits. The man made visions of those who say were touched by God and given a message. Even if that were the case, even if it were the case that these so called prophets were told by God that certain things would take place and certain things would happen I'm pretty sure even God didn't say it and didn't pick these men to deliver that message so that you idiots can just kill over and just watch it happen before your very eyes I'm pretty sure that's the reason that's not the reason why God would have done it he did it so that we had the choice to stop it from happening and one of the things that I keep telling all these idiots on Twitter if they're so convinced 
with the whole the beginning of all things to end. And why even why even bother fighting the electoral fraud? Why even bother allowing a man to keep fighting for your constitutional rights and your freedoms? Why even bother? Just give Biden the win. Give Biden the win and, 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 and that'll be the end of it. I mean, you all seem to be so convinced that, that that's just the way things are supposed to be, then, then what's the point of fighting? Just give up. Just let it happen. I mean, it's like I said, you all seem to be so convinced. Just let it happen. You know? Just tear it off like a band-aid. Let it, let it, let it take place. Because I am scared. I am very scared of of what is happening. I have a family to protect. And none of you assholes are going to come to my home and help me. And to be honest with you, I really wouldn't want you to. Because if you're that type of person with that kind of mindset, that you just accept it. It's because the Bible says so. Then I don't really need you on my corner now, do I? I don't need anybody being complacent. But it's because the Bible said so. That's being complacent. Why bother fighting any of this? Why bother fighting evil? Why bother fighting tyranny? Why bother fighting corruption? Why why bother? Seriously, why why bother? I'm pretty sure a lot of you are probably thinking to yourselves, chill out, man, nothing's gonna happen. Well that's fine and dandy for you to say. I'm glad I I'm glad I wish I had your confidence. I really do. I really do wish I had your confidence into thinking that way. I don't think of these things in terms of myself. This isn't me being, you know, self-preserving. No, it has nothing to do with me. For a long time I've wanted a family. And now I'm getting to the personal stuff. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to make fun of me. And I don't know any of you for me to give a shit if you do or you don't. For a long time I wanted a family. I had two serious girlfriends and I wanted to start families with them. And the good lord decided that it shouldn't have been them. For some reason. For some reason God decided that it wasn't th with those previous relationships that I should have formed a family with. And I'm talking since 2002. By now, if I would have had kids with the first, the first female I decided to have a family with, my kids would have already been in their late teens. They would have been able to take care of themselves. Twice I wanted to have a family. And it didn't work. When I finally came to the realization that it just wasn't going to happen, I was I was depressed, I'll tell you the truth, I was depressed. I really was. I was sad and, and I felt bad about myself and I felt bad about my existence on this planet. Before I had a family I had no purpose. I met my wife and just as I came to the realization that I wasn't meant to have a family, I just didn't care anymore. And now I have a family. God decided that I was supposed to have a family with this with this woman, my wife. And it pisses me off to no end to think that God is cruel and ironic. That when things are getting bad that we're witnessing the things that we're seeing right now. 
that he decides to give me a family. But now I have purpose. That God's giving me purpose now. It's cruel and ironic if it really is that God decided to give me three beautiful children just so that he could take it away by allowing these things to happen. And I don't know, is, is it wrong for me to feel this way or, you know, to think this way? Is it wrong for me to, to, to be angry? that that all of this is, feels like some fucking joke worst part about the whole thing is, is that probably most of you will think in terms of this isn't about you I know it's not just about me I'm fully aware that the world doesn't revolve around me and my family I know that I'm fully aware that I'm nothing that I'm nothing special. I'm not a celebrity, I'm not a celebrity, I'm not a politician. I'm no one of importance. And I've seen that through my YouTube subs. Worst thing about it is that I don't think it's about me only. Because I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of other families out there who are scared to death. And not because of themselves, but because of their children. If you have kids, you'll know exactly what I mean. If you don't, then you're lucky. You're lucky that you'll never truly know what it's like to live in constant fear and not for your own life. To feel that you have failed and the one thing that gave you purpose in life whether it be celestial or maleficent reasons Hostile care package inbound. do I feel let down by God I do I feel disappointed God should have just not have made me a dad at all and I wouldn't have been so scared. He could have spared me that fear. He could have spared me the fear for my kids. He could have spared me the heartbreak in thinking about my children's future and well-being. He could have just done that instead of making me a daddy three times. I bring this up because of a tweet, several tweets actually that I've been seeing. I'm gonna read you just some of them. And, you know, excuse my... My seriousness. I usually, I'm, I'm usually not this serious. I really don't... I, I, I usually don't... I'm not this... I'm usually not this negative, but... Things have changed, and... This is by a person named... Anna Kraken, and she's a Trump supporter. And if you look her up, she's certified on Twitter. She's got over 303,000 followers, and her profile says that follower of Jesus, animal lover, conservative ex-pro poker player, television show survivor, S32 contestant. And she keeps talking about prophecy. Prophecy this and prophecy that. And one of hers, one of hers is that it was prophesized that Biden would be called the winner by the media, but that the tables would turn after lawsuits and some surprises would come out. Keep the faith; it's not over. It may take a few weeks, but God is faithful. 
Trump was prophesized to serve two terms, not one. And then she comes out with, It's so easy to tell who will take the Mark of the Beast. Mark of the Beast is the introduction to the Antichrist and the end of all Christian civilization. And some other guy named Danny Lee Dickinson. Danny Lee. Danny Lee Dickinson. Yes, yes, it is. But remember, all means all. You will receive a mark of the beast. The sheeple will accept it in, compla in compliance and ignorance. I believe those who refuse it will be rounded up and be branded upon their foreheads. So all will see they refused. Robert Waltrip. That's correct, also. Mandated masks and lockdowns are merely a prelude to indoctrinating the masses from the ability to buy or sell frogs in boiling water. When I see these people comment like that, I don't... I don't gain faith, I lose faith. I lose faith. Darkness descends. Because they're so willing to accept it and not to fight it. If I had the means, everyone who's watching this right now, if I had the means to fight it, I would. I would fight it for you, I would fight it for your kids, and I would fight it for mine. Even if it meant the end of me. I don't know about anybody else, but I would. I would fight it. And I've been fighting it, as well as many others have been fighting it. Don't take what I have to say so seriously. Just venting right now. I don't expect anybody to agree with me. I really don't. We were given free will for a reason. Like we were given the Constitution for a reason. But you do you. But when and if this shit hits the fan. Don't go crying out to God to save you. Because if you were more than willing to accept the prophecies of simple men rather than God's word, his true word, then you're not worthy of them. You're not worthy of his salvation either. I pray that things get better and I pray that all of this just goes away. I pray that there's no such thing as a new normal with the lockdowns and masks and police officers enforcing tyrannical laws. Loony psycho leftist liptards hurting, jumping, shooting burning people alive in their homes that that doesn't become the new normal I really don't I hope it doesn't but whatever those are just my thoughts I won't even ask you to leave a comment on the bottom or to subscribe or even share please say internet's forever This is just a testimonial of how I feel.